Hi everybody, this is Mike Andrew, once again providing a short video with practical and relevant insights as it applies to business and leadership. And as mentioned before, these insights, they come from my years of experience, having been there. And even my books, my books are not research-based, they're based on my years of experience. So it's experience-based versus research-based. Today I want to talk about something that is a reality in organization life and corporate life. It's about being politically savvy. Politically savvy. Not to be confused with being political, but being politically savvy. It's a reality. You know, those of you that have uh, career, career ambitions to be a senior leader and you want to get on that leadership track, those of you that are, are, are on that leadership track but you want to get further up, you, you, of course, you, it's all about achieving results consistently and so forth. And, but the reality is it's also about being politically savvy. What is politically savvy? What do we mean by that? To me, it's all about being interpersonally savvy, socially savvy, building those relationships, building your network inside the company, you know, with your, with your uh, management, with your colleagues, with your customers, with all your stakeholders. Um, building those relationships, being, uh, being sensitive with the interpersonal nuances of, of, of your interactions with others. Reading their body language, knowing how to react, knowing when to speak up, knowing when to keep quiet. It's, it's, it's a very subtle thing and it comes more naturally to some people. I will say those at the top, they tend to be more natural uh, with their political savviness. I've worked with so many senior executives and they got there, of course, from their track record of results, but they also got there from being politically savvy, combined with their executive presence. I'll give you an example. Um, I go to these VP meetings, and you should see what happens before, 15 minutes before the meeting starts and 15 minutes after the meeting ends. You see political savvy in action. You'll see uh, people huddled up one-on-one -on -one or in groups of three or four, why? They're not promoting themselves. They're promoting their organization. They're promoting their viewpoint. They're working together to get things done, to move things forward. That's how things work. Being politically savvy. And they're comfortable in that setting. They're comfortable being at the table with the CEO and the CEO team. So it's reality. And you've got to do it in your own genuine way. We all have different personalities, so there's not a bullet list that you've got to follow. Be yourself, be genuine. There's a saying, be who you are and be it well. Uh, that's when it comes to political savvy. Let me give you some examples. I just gave you one about the VP meeting that I attend. I was with the previous company uh, in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi. I was a vice president there. and um, I think it was during my second year, I found out through this mystery, I found out that uh, the uh, top leadership have this thing called the discretionary bonus that they give to certain people on top of the regular bonus. And uh, we had some really good people in our organization. So I was one of about 35 or 40 people. So as soon as I found out about this, I knocked on the door to my boss. I said, uh, you know, I understand you have a discretionary bonus. Is that true? He said, yes. By the way, I came well prepared. I didn't talk off the top of my head. I said, do you mind if I uh, present the case for myself for the bonus? He said, sure. And I went through the, you know, the different bullet points in my mind why I should be considered for the bonus. But I also said, you know, you have a difficult decision, I support whatever decision you make, because there were some well-deserving people, probably even more deserving than me, that deserved that discretionary bonus. About three weeks, he just smiled and said thank you, and about three weeks later, I got a knock on the door of my office from people from compensation with a formal letter saying congratulations, you've been awarded the discretionary bonus above and beyond the normal bonus. I never, ever, ever would have got that if I didn't take that step. To me, that's an example of uh, uh, being political savvy. That's reality. So why is it important? It's important because it's not about self-promoting oneself. Um, th these people, they're gonna get their promotions because of their track record of results, but also because of their presence and their credibility and their uh, political savviness. But it's really, to me, it's about being political savvy, it's about leveraging your relationships inside the company to get things done, to move things forward. And that just keeps enhancing your credibility as a leader. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. I love the thumbs up, by the way. 
And uh, I also love the comments. I read every comment. Um, and whether you agree or disagree, feel free. And uh, I'll do my best to reply to each. All right? Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.